Hey guys, my name is Bruce Bowers. I am the senior animator producer for Bay World Unlimited Film and Animation. And we're gonna talk a little bit about today, what is It's the Van Ambergs? It's a really interesting story, actually. Um, it's the Van Ambergs wasn't always called as the Van Ambergs. I remember Chris called me uh, last year early last year and he had this idea you know we were just uh riding high off the successes that we had with von world our other animation project um and he started talking to me about this project that he called apple pie and the more we talked about it uh the more we realized it was a far stray from what we had did with von world and we liked it um so eventually, uh, Chris sent me some ideas um, of the project and I sent him uh, characters and he sent me the names for the characters and we just went back and forth for a while until eventually Apple Pie came to be It's the Van Ambergs, which I came up with the name and I drew that name from um, an anchorman that I knew when I was really young um, and his name was actually Van Amberg. I don't know if he's alive, but shout out to Van Amberg, uh, who I thought at the time was one of the coolest white dudes on TV. So, Is the Van Ambergs actually um, is influenced by a lot of the family shows uh, that Chris and I grew up with. You know, today's uh, family shows, when it comes to animation, you always think of shows like The Simpsons, uh, Matt Groening's The Simpsons, or Seth MacFarlane's Cleveland Show and, and Family Guy, or American Dad, or King of the Hill. Um, and you look at those shows, which I'm a fan of all of those shows, uh, but it's not the same stuff that I grew up with. Uh, Chris and I, we actually grew up with shows like um, Family Ties. I know some of you guys remember that from the 80s, Growing Pains. Um, and even going further back, uh, shows like Leave it to Beaver and uh, Andy Griffith's show. And those were like these wholesome, uh, to, by today's standards, kind of unrealistic shows that had these values and morals and stuff like that. So we wanted to do something like we really wanted to just go far away from Bond World as we could with doing a show like this. And that's well, those are the influences for it's the Van Ambergs. Well, um, we did get a lot of success, success on, on an independent level um, with a very minimal budget where we were able to obtain hundreds of thousands of views uh, throughout our social platforms, uh, tens of thousands of fans and likes and followers uh, for Von World. Von World was huge for us. Um, you know, I think it was a great opus to introduce Bay World Unlimited, but uh, from Chris's conversation that we had about the project Apple Pie, uh, we really wanted to show that we were, there was more to us than doing content like Von World. Uh, but with us coming from Oakland, East Oakland, deep East Oakland to be exact, um, of course it was easy for us to translate our experiences uh, in an animated form through a show like Von World. So we just kind of want to show the other aspect of Von World um, through a show like It's the Van Ambergs. And a lot of people don't know this, but they actually do coexist. And we want to show you those contrasts as the show goes on. Okay. Um, so the connection between Von World and It's the Van Ambergs um, really is about um, location. Because both the fan, both the shows take place in the Bay Area, and those who are familiar with the Bay Area, Oakland specifically, know about Piedmont, California. And if you've ever been to Piedmont, California, it's amazing how there's a cultural change or an environmental shift when you're in Piedmont than when you walk into Oakland. So here we have this family, it's the Van Ambergs, that are in Piedmont. And then you have the Von World cast in Oakland. So you will see the crossover and you'll see the, 
the correlation between the two from time to time in the show. But it's the Van Embergs really does focus more on that culture, um, this this safe haven, uh, like mulberry kind of thing um, uh, that we're trying to like portray for this family in an environment that they live in. So we all talked about the setting of it's the Van Ambergs, the city that it's in, in Piedmont, California, how we came up with it, the family values and stuff like that. Uh, the best way to sum up it's the Van Ambergs, it's really about an old fashioned family living in the modern era. So you are going to see like some of the stuff, if you remember, like some of the four shows, uh, aforementioned shows that I talked about uh, where we talked about. Uh, these family members and the, and the types of problems that they had. Um, the thing is, is that we want to bring that to more of a modern era, uh, meaning that you're going to see this 21st century family uh, with these 20th, mid 20th century family values in the world of what we know it today. Um, so we'll have like simple things. Um, uh, like this first one, the first episode, the pilot that we're doing, we're finishing up right now, is actually about Mark losing his job. Um, those of us uh, who live in Oakland or whatever, that kind of go through that, I know a lot of partners of mine, they quit jobs. And it's nothing. Oh, I'll just go get another one or whatever. But this show, we actually show that it's a real crisis because Mark is the breadwinner of the, of the family. And they have this... Uh, this uh, persona or they have this this uh, thing that they have to have or they have to be or how they're viewed I should say I'm trying to find my words here or how they're viewed in their community uh, because they do they live in an affluent community they, they live in a fluent lifestyle um, so to keep that up you know it's very important that you keep up this um, your your level of prestige or what have you uh, around the community. So the whole sh the whole episode is actually about what someone in Piedmont would go through if they lost their job, how the community reacts, how they feel, how the family reacts, how the kids react, and the things that they go through when they go to school. Oh, we heard your dad didn't have a job anymore. You must be poor now, you know, stuff like that. So, um, but we do it in a, in a very comical way. And Chris does an amazing job I'm telling you, it doesn't look like the same guys that wrote Von World and it's the Van Ambergs. It's totally different from that. So you guys are in for a treat. So now that you guys know about what the Van Ambergs is, go back and watch the video um, about who the Van Ambergs are. Um, I just did a video for that too as well. Keep following us on YouTube uh, on the Bay World Unlimited. Look, up, look us up on all of our social media links, IG, LinkedIn, uh, Facebook, uh, we're everywhere. Uh, and you'll get all the content that you need. And of course, go to our website, bayworldunlimited.com um, to learn more about It's the Van Ambergs and all our other projects we have going.